How do you gain stage your mix properly to go from something like this? To this. With just one plugin. Hi. If you're a mix engineer like me, you sometimes get sent sessions which are a bit all over the place. Uh, your drums are quiet, vocals can't be heard, you've got a bass guitar that's uh, dominant in the mix. And if you're like me at the moment, I'm on a laptop and using a trackpad, trying to mix and go through each fader and set the levels right, is a little bit time consuming and a little bit difficult. So. I want to run through how I use structure just to be able to listen to a mix and know where I'm, I'm going to get started. So I've got this session here, which I've grabbed from uh, the Cambridge Music Technology website, which is run by Mike Senior. Uh, great site, loads of sessions to get hold of and practice mixing. Um, I've got this one. So let's have a quick listen to uh, what what we're faced with and then I'll show you how structure will work with this. As you can see up here, I, I will show you again with a master fader because I don't think that really gave it uh, justice there. Master fader, it suddenly jumped in and out there. Um, as you can see, it's clipped. It's at 6 dB over the master fader and brutals, which is, that's loud. That's really, really loud. Um, not anything we can send to a mastering engineer and certainly nothing we can put, put out. So, as you heard, the guitars were really loud. Everything was just a bit of a mess. So I'm just going to throw structure onto every single plugin. Uh, a little note, there is a stereo and a mono version. So if you're in uh, a door like Pro Tools where you can load a, a multiple mono, uh, be careful. Um, go for the stereo versions because of the way we've programmed uh, structure. It analyzes stereo tracks. Um, stereo version of structure. And we need one also on the master plugin. Not a multiple mono, we want a... Okay, now on the master version, I want to select master. Uh, number one is for instruments, number two is for lead vocals, and anything else that you want at the front of the mix. So we've got one, two, I think that's a third lead I saw. Uh, backing vocals, I think that's it. Just make sure my master's on master. Okay. Now what I want to do is try and find a loud part of this mix so where there's a lot of things going on so that the master level can analyze it uh, and settle down. Um, this looks like I've got quite a bit here. I've got backing vocals. I've got some guitars in here. Um, yeah, let's go in here and let's have a listen to, or let's set structure to analyze this part. Actually, let's come to where we've got this guitar. Okay, let's have a listen. Ah, as you can see, I'm on a laptop and it's not happy. That's better. Now let's have a listen to this track and see what's going on. We might find that these guitars haven't analyzed. This orange light here means structure hasn't listened to this piece of audio yet. So these might be a bit loud and then we'll level them out. And uh, let's have a listen. Bit of me. We check the head at the couple shoes. Part of all the Okay, I'm just going to pan everything left and right, and uh, we're going to go left, right, left, right, odds to the left, and evens to the right. Just so we've got a, a bit of panning. I don't know what this is. We'll stick that there. We've got some backing vocals. Let's pan them left and right. Not quite as hard as the guitars. 
uh, stick these a bit wide, whatever they are, backing vocals again. Um, one thing I have done, and I don't normally do, I've got structure on a hi-hat. I tend to find that that doesn't work. And shakers, I, I heard that they were a bit loud and I, I don't tend to use um, structure on those sort of instruments. So now let's listen to this course C sort of section. Okay, now I can hear everything in that mix. The guitars, bass, drums, the vocals. I now know where I'm going to make a start on this mix. That structure. I uh, hope it helps you with your mixes. And yeah, till next time.